Hey everybody, what's up? The Iceman here. The Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. It's Sunday, March 26. We got WrestleMania right out around the corner. Um, it's been sort of quiet this week as far as uh, the talking about the page sex tape leak. Uh, there's supposed to be been some more uh, leaks coming up. Uh, it's been sort of quiet relatively. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Impact Wrestling for a moment. Uh, Karen Jarrett appeared at the end of the show, uh, and, you know, I'm not a big fan of Josh Matthews, but I do like the situation where he is now like a heel announcer, and, you know, we had this, you know, years ago and years past, I remember when Don West became a heel, uh, he was the color commentator, uh, it was sort of fun with him and Mike Tanay, and we've seen Michael Cole as a heel, we've seen Jerry the King Lawler as a heel, um, so we've seen it happen, you know, many times in the past, but Josh Matthews relatively was a, you know, a face commentator along with the Pope, but uh, I like how they turned him heel and having Jerry Jeremy Borash on the team, and uh, the show ended with Karen Jarrett slapping Josh Matthews and knocking him to the ring mat and he looked stunned and of course Impact went off the air. Uh, Impact has changed the last few weeks. Um, it's a different show. I like what I see uh, because really to be quite honest with you, I mean they were putting on decent shows previously but there's only so much they can do with what they had, with the talent that they had. Uh, so now you're bringing in some different talent, some which we've never heard of before. But it's something different. It's something new. I think we should give it a shot and see where it goes. So right now I'm liking what's going on. So we'll just have to wait and see. So uh, kudos to Impact Wrestling. I gotta get away from calling it TNA because it's no longer called TNA. So, uh, waiting to see uh, when Jeff Jarrett comes back. It should be sometime soon. So, anyhow. Uh, I watched SmackDown Live this past Tuesday. It was from Mohegan Sun here in Connecticut. I wasn't impressed. I guess the last segment with Shane and, and AJ Styles was pretty good, but John Cena having a match with uh, Fandango. Uh, Nikki Bella came out. Fandango's uh, tag team partner, Tyler Breeze, came out dressed up as a Nikki Bella lookalike. Uh, we've seen stuff like this before in the past as well. I just, you know, it was comical, I guess, but it was sort of stupid. But the ending of the match with Nikki getting Breeze over her shoulders and doing a shoulder slam as John gave Fandango an attitude adjustment was like, okay, a bit too much. Um, too much, a little just out of reality. It just did, didn't seem real. Um, but anyway, uh, I, yeah, I, the, SmackDown usually the better show for me to watch, but, uh, lately it's not been, uh, with very good quality, so to speak. Uh, the SmackDown Lives Women's Championship is going to be the title is going to be on the line at WrestleMania. Alexa Bliss, the uh, current champion, going up against all of the women on SmackDown. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple added into that match. Um, I find Alexa Bliss a breath of fresh air. I think she's a great heel champion. Now with the uh, addition of Mickey James for the last month or so, 
it doesn't surprise me. I, I, I think I'll be disappointed if Mickey James gets the title at WrestleMania because she doesn't need to have it. Um, I think WrestleMania uh, should be a big moment for one of the other women on the roster that never really ex experienced this situation. And Mickey James has already been there, done that. Um, and more importantly, I'd rather see Alexa Bliss retain, but I know she's not going to. Um, she reminds me so much of AJ Lee when AJ Lee was in the WWE, in the company. She made a great heel champion. Um, there's been some others in the past that were very, very good. Uh, we've seen, you know, like the likes of Beth Phoenix, who will be inducted into Hall of Fame. She was a pretty good heel champion. Uh, I remember when Melina was heel, she was a good heel champion. There's been, there's been many. There's been many. Uh, we've seen Trish Stratus both ways as heel and face as well. Uh, but Alexa Bliss, for some reason, it's just that when she puts that look on her face, that little evil sneaky look, it doesn't compare to any anybody else. Um, I think the WWE has got a gold mine there with Alexa Bliss, whether you like her or hate her. And if you hate her, she's doing her job. So, anyway, there's going to be a lot of matches at WrestleMania. And we'll be talking about that at another time. But, um, anyway, this is just some of the things I wanted to talk about this Sunday here. Um, I'm relatively busy, so I don't get uh, to really do the videos that I'm, I'm looking forward to do, but I, I try to watch videos. I don't always get the remark, but believe me, I'm, I'm there watching videos uh, on a nightly basis. So anyway, everybody have yourself a great Sunday. Uh, the NCAA Men and Women's Tournament continues. Who will make it? For the last couple spots for the final four, we'll find out today. So on that note, peace out, everybody. Enjoy your Sunday. This is the Iceman.